Hi everyone and welcome to a brand new video. I'm going to continue where I left yesterday and yeah, I'm going to work on the front bumper, make this clear and then I can maybe start something with my brakes. I'm very excited about the bumper. I see that the tape has uh, let go a little bit here, so I guess that it pushed it even more upwards, which is great. Um, I haven't even touched it yet, so it's going to be exciting to take it apart and see has it hardened or not because uh, like uh, speaking from experience that rear tire insert was not ready after one day but this might be ready because it's a different time type of uh, foam and also it's a little bit warmer now so um, yeah uh, let's just take it off and see how it looks Well, as you can see, it's not ready. It's still uh, raw in the middle, so... Uh, again, I have to put this aside and wait until it hardens. Maybe I'll put some more foam around there and there, I'm not sure. Or uh, it should be good enough here, but... Yeah, that's a bummer. Now I need to wait even more, so... I guess I'll just put the wheels on and lower the car and prepare everything for the brakes yeah it looks like this thing is going to take some time to harden so uh oh well yeah so i went ahead and added some extra foam in the corners and in the center there i got the rough shape here so i'm gonna be able to trace it and cut it out so it follows the line i'm gonna trim the excess here as well so it should be good but uh, I guess I need to move on and take the other tasks. So I was finally done with the intercooler piping, so I could just put the wheels on and lower the car on the ground. For some reason, I don't like that the car is standing on jack stands for too long. It must be the S13 trauma or something. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm like losing, not motivation, but I'm just getting so tired. I need to start on the rear brakes, but I really don't wanna. Um, it's not that hard task, but uh, I just don't want to do the sandblasting and do the calipers, but I must do that since I'm doing it. Ah, oh, man, this is so, like, I can't even start, but I need to because I don't have much time left and I have, like, pretty tight schedule. I think I, I will manage to do all the breaks while I'm here, so I must get to it, but yeah. <laughs> it's like... It's my fifth day in a row that I'm working like 10 hours a day, so yeah, it ain't easy, but I'm not here to cry about it, so just gotta push through it. Here I started the process of removing everything to access the rear brakes. I really need to invest some power tools to speed up the process, but uh, since I plan to move to Norway completely, um, I don't want to make the purchases here and then move everything, so I have to use what I have here and um, yeah, so far it works just fine, it just uh, takes a lot more time. Okay, those who have been following me have seen this view before. These are my rear brakes, everything is totally toast. Inside there are like the drum discs, uh, I mean the handbrake shoes. They fell apart last time I took them off, so yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm going to proceed and take off the calipers from the both sides. Uh, I'll put on the new shoes and the discs. After that, I need to take a quick tour to the shop so I can clamp the uh, brake hose so it doesn't leak any fluid. That way I can take off the caliper completely and begin the painting and restoration process. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a little tough, but... Uh, I guess I just have to start and uh, we'll see how it goes. This took me some time to remove the caliper. There is a very limited space and it's not enough, it's just not enough space to put a ratchet. So I had to use regular wrenches and a hammer to really yoink off these bolts. I mean, uh, yeah, I don't think I have ever removed my rear calipers from this car, at least on this side. So it's been at least 10 years. <laughs> Damn. So the first side is successfully taken off. These brake pads, I think they're like super stuck in the sliders. <laughs> I'm going to try and hammer them out, but no. 
like them they're 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 sitting there really good yeah so i need to change these uh these brake shoes they're actually not too bad on this side but other side just completely disintegrated so um yeah it's gonna be great to have perfect uh, brake setup in your ear not perfect but uh, brand new well i guess i need to do the same thing on the other side then i can start to put on the brake shoes the left side is also done i got my caliper brackets my hardware my these ones i might reuse them i'll see if i have new ones in the kit if not i'll take those oh uh, yeah i'm almost there now i need to start to take off the the handbrake shoes and what i'll do i'll probably just take one side off i'll assemble it and then i'll do the next one just so i have something for reference removing these things was not the hardest task i just started randomly removing things that were accessible and just went really smooth from there I've done the handbrake shoes on my Lexus IS200 and uh, the layout and mechanism was very very similar so that experience definitely helped me to push through it. I have taken off the brake shoes. It wasn't too bad. Um, it was a little tricky to get this one off but then I found out I could take it completely off and take it to the vise so I'll probably do that to the next side. I have all the hardware here, it's a little bit rusty and black, but uh, I thought if I give it a nice clean and just spray it with WD-40, it should be good to go. This is the only thing that I don't have for the whole kit, but uh, I think it's gonna be good, it's not too bad, so um, yeah, I'll try and reuse those. Now I need to clean up this inside, clean up the hardware, and then I can start to put everything back together. As you saw in the last uh, time lapse, I installed the brake shoes, uh, I put on the brake disc, I dialed it in, now it's uh, loose, but it's like one to two clicks away from being completely locked, so this is perfect, it's the way it should be. So yeah, now I need to just repeat the process on the other side, and after that I need to take a tour to the shop so I can start working on the calipers that are in 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 urge for uh restoration so yeah either way oh yeah also before i put it in i cleaned the inside with the brake cleaner uh, other side of the brake disc also i cleaned with the brake cleaner so it's gonna be perfect here's a closer look of the project move brake shoes all installed i used the old hardware as you see I cleaned it up, I hold it up, it's pretty good, except with these two screws on the both sides, they were quite terrible, but uh, they're still holding and they're doing their job, so that's a win. I could have bought new set, but it costs like 100 euros and I'm quite tight on budget here and uh, yeah, I'm glad that I made this choice to reuse them, so 
That's great. Uh, now I just need to slap on the disc, adjust the adjust the tensioner in the bottom, and then then starts the fun part with the caliper. So I have taken out the calipers. I pressed out the pistons. Actually, they were not C, so I didn't need to rebuild them. So I need to take a wire brush and start to clean these guys up. Here I am removing all the bleed screws, all the rubbers and everything that's onto the calipers and the brackets. I had to do that in order to make them ready for the rust removal. Now that I look back, I see I'm doing a very good job with cleaning my surroundings, so that's nice. Good job myself, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty much done with uh, disassembling them. Everything is free, um, so they are ready to be prepared for the paint. So I don't think I will do sandblasting. It was way too much effort and uh, as I said before, I don't have the correct uh, compressor. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna clean them up with wire wheel and I'll paint them. So, But the problem is I don't have wire wheel, so I need to go to the shop and get some new wire wheel. God damn it. Once again, I'm wearing a full hazmat suit here and man, uh, I've been so thankful to myself for doing it. I remember when I was doing this type of works when I was like 20. Man, I was like out of breath all the time from the rust dust, so that wasn't good. Caliper update. They are looking a bit better. You can see the steel color of them. Um, yeah, it's quite difficult to take it off with wire wheel. Sandblasting is definitely the easiest way. So yeah, I thought I could use some kind of a chemical stuff to take away the rust. I could let that soak overnight. That would be way, way easier than uh, spending hours and energy on a... Uh, removing rust from them so yeah i need to take a little tour to the shop and see what they have maybe they have some kind of a rust eater or something i don't know either way thank you guys for watching i'm glad that you made it so far um hopefully this content is interesting <laughs> thanks again for watching leave a like subscribe uh, share and yeah i'll see you guys on the next video goodbye